boss is coming to town. In the song it says he's making a list and he's checking it twice. And he's going to find out who's naughty or nice. And when I was younger, I always wanted to know whether I was on the naughty list or the good list. But I know y'all knew me, y'all know me, I was always on the good list. <laughs> now, Rhett, maybe not so much. <laughs> just joking, just joking. Nowadays, there's a website, and it's called claws.com, and you can go and find out which list you're on. You don't even have to wonder. And so I went and I checked it out to see who was naughty and who was nice in our church. And I, Laura, you were on the nice list. You were, you really were. But it said, Pastor Mark. <laughs> there might have been a couple of sketchy things. <laughs> And they think he sits on his throne in heaven and looks down to see if we're being naughty or if we're being nice. And if we do more nice things than naughty things, we get to go to heaven. But that isn't the way God works at all. When God looks down on us, he sees that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That none of us deserve to go to heaven because of our own goodness. That is why we celebrate Christmas. God sent Jesus to be born in a stable, to die on a cross, to save us from our sins. If we put our trust in Jesus, God writes our name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and it can never be erased. And that is the true meaning of Christmas. I read this poem every year, but it bears to be repeated every year. And in the poem we see that even Santa knows the true meaning of Christmas. Santa's Christmas Prayer. On Christmas Eve the other night, I saw the most amazing sight, for there beneath the Christmas tree was Santa kneeling on his knee. His countenance was different than that all familiar jolly grin. His head was bowed with hand to breast and slightly tucked into his vest. For there in the nativity was Jesus and his family. And I heard him start to pray. I listened close to what he'd say. Lord, you know that you're the reason I take pleasure in this season. I don't want to take your place, but just reflect your wondrous grace. I hope you'll help them understand I'm just an ordinary man who found a way to do your will by finding kids with needs to fill. But all those centuries ago, there was no way for me to know that they would make so much of me and all the gifts beneath the tree. They think I have some hidden power granted at the midnight hour, but it is my love for you inspiring the things I do. So when they begin to open gifts for which they have been hoping, May they give you all the glory, for you're the one true Christmas story. Amen.